This is the Daily Pulse. I'm Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries, and the episode today is to sin sexually is to strike yourself. In other words, when we sin sexually, we sin against ourselves. And listen to these words of caution that Paul shares in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. And great basic advice. Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a man commits are outside his body. But he who sins sexually sins against his own body. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. The body that God made is a temple for the Holy Spirit. So when we sin, whether it's through prostitution or it's through lustful thoughts, all the, 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 you know, the, the myriad of things we can do sexually sinning, stop. Cease and desist. Paul says, flee from sexual immorality. We, you know, the, the, one of the first things that ought to come to mind is the way Joseph, you know, the Old Testament, when Potiphar's wife came after him, he didn't run toward her. He ran. He didn't walk from the room. He ran from the room. He fled sexual immorality. And that's what Paul is tang, telling us as well. What does it mean to me now? What are you involved in? You know, what are you doing on the internet? What are you doing at night? What are you doing with your, your, your private thought life? Not mine to know, but it's a rhetorical question I ask because God, it, we may be hiding in ourselves from others and we may have a whole other life going on, but God knows what's going on. And when we're doing that, we're sinning against ourselves. So first rule of holes is when you're in one, to quit digging. And like this, like Paul says, flee from that, get away from that. If you need help, talk to your pastor, talk to your accountability partner, but most of all, Talk to God. Say, God, help me get out of this situation. I want to flee sexual morality so that I can give you glory and be freed from this bondage. In Jesus' name, amen.